Good morning, everyone, parents, guardians, and of course, our beloved students. Welcome to Sir Dexter's Math Lessons. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to my brother's YouTube channel. And my brother is a high school math teacher. So kung may problema ang inyong mga elder sisters and elder brothers sa kanilang mga math lessons, calculus, baka ito ang makatulong sa inyong mga kapatid. Okay? So for our lesson for today in Mathematics 6, yan, puntahan muna natin bago tayo magkalimutan. Puntahan muna natin ang week number one. So for week number one, we are going to identify similar and dissimilar fractions. And similar and dissimilar fractions. What are the examples of similar and dissimilar fractions? Let's find out. Okay, so for this slide we have the learning task number one and uh, we are going to identify similar and dissimilar fractions on your notebook write s if the fractions are similar and d if dissimilar but how are we going to identify similar and dissimilar fractions let's discuss first we have to identify what are the similar fractions Similar fractions are fractions with the same denominators. Let's look at the examples. Example number one, one-fourth and two-fourths. Look at the denominators, written in green. So we have four and four. They are the same. Example number two, look, two-six and three-sixths. Look at the denominators. We have six and six. They are the same. And last but not the least, example number three. We have four-ninths and one-ninth. So look at the denominators, red and in green. We have nine and nine. So the denominators are the same. That is what we call similar fractions. Okay, what about the similar fractions? Look at this. Let's define what the similar fractions are. The similar fractions are fractions with different denominators. Example, for number one, we have one third and two fourths. One third and two fourths. Number two, three fifths and two sixths. And number three, we have two ninth and one eighth. Look at the denominators. For example, number one, we have three and the other one is four. So three is less than four and four is greater than three. So definitely they are different. Number two, we have five and six. And number three, we have nine and eight. So since the denominators are different, we call them dissimilar fractions. Okay? So let's practice. Tingnan natin hanggang saan ang ating natutunan. So for this activity, we have to identify the fractions as to similar or dissimilar fractions. Right? your answer in your notebook. Okay? Sulat natin kung siya ba ay similar or dissimilar. Ready? For number one, this is the given or this are the given. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. So I'll give you just one minute to answer the following. Okay? So ready? And let's answer.
Okay, ang bilis pagsagot. Sigurado ako tama ang inyong mga kasagutan. So let's find out the answer. Okay, let's check your work. So for number one, we have the similar fractions. Very good. Number two, similar. Number three, similar. Number four, dissimilar fractions. And number five, similar. So how many got five? Okay. So I hope you got all the correct answers because if you do, well, our lesson for today is very simple to you. Okay. So I hope you learned something from our lesson today. Till next time, again, this is Sir Dexter. I have to say goodbye for now and see you next time.